Anyways, I'll just... Oh! Oh! Do you guys remember my Ornithoctonus Oreo tibialis, my Thailand Golden Fringe? Yup, exactly. When we were rehousing her into her new custom made enclosure, she was really not in a good mood. Yeah, but then we managed to get her in safely and smoothly, so that was awesome. But yeah, in order for me to get a tarantula like that, I'm gonna have to buy it, right? I'm not gonna go out and go and poach and catch a tarantula, no. I'm gonna have to buy it or like someone give it to me or something like that, but this one, I bought it. And when you buy a tarantula, they ship it to you, so yeah, that's what happened with this girl. And you may not find the unboxing video on this channel, but I'm gonna show it to you right now. So yeah, enjoy the video. Let's do this as quickly as we can because my phone is currently at 30% battery, so it can just cut off any time. There you can see the tea's legs over there. So I'm not gonna be opening this tea out right now. I'm gonna get its enclosure set up and we will get it transferred. I'll be getting this tea from this into this slightly larger tub. By the way, this is an Ornithoctonus oreotibialis, which is known as the Thai Golden Fringe. And also I am well aware that this species is a burrowing species and they need deep substrate. This is just going to be a temporary enclosure till I get a new one for it. I'll probably go out and get one after this. The reason I'm doing this is because I don't want it to be in this small container for too long because it's been in here for about 24 hours already. So don't bash me up for keeping a burrowing species in like 2 inch of substrate. Being an Asian species, especially burrowing species, you'll want to have slightly damp substrate. Not too damp till you can squeeze water out, just damp to the touch. So, um, wish me luck guys. I'm gonna be covering it up a bit. This is gonna be harder than I thought. I hope she doesn't bolt. There she is. Let's get a good look of her first. Okay, um, so how am I gonna do this? Hey, yeah, I have holes on top, so I can... Perfect. Let's see if this works. I'm really sorry if you can't see, guys. This is... Come on, get out. Oh, she's in threat mode. On bolt. I'm super nervous. Yep, it's definitely gonna be harder than I thought. Try pushing her from here. She would go. Whoa, okay. She's not happy for sure. Whoa, look at those fangs. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, coming in from this end. Come on, get off. Get out. This is one stubborn tea. This is not fun, guys. This is not fun at all. Kids, do not try this at home. Come on, girl, get out. This is so hard. No, don't come around here. Go down. Go, go, go. No. Holy smokes, guys. She is pissed. Oh my god. <laughs> what is she doing? Okay, I think this looks better. Seriously, why did I not think of this? So much easier. Come on, let's go. Go, 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 go. There we go. So there it is guys, our new 5 inch female Thai Golden Fringe. Better close this up before something not so nice happens. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and as always leave a comment down below and I hope to see you guys in the next video. So that right there you guys was when I unboxed her. Now let's just take a look at what she has done to her current enclosure. You guys remember that rehousing video? Yep, okay, so I've put her up here. She is still in the same enclosure. Let's just give this a quick open and well, what she has done is I actually expected her to make a hide down here, but no, what she done is over here. Check that out. So she just decided to go to the back, the right corner, back right corner and just make like a volcano kind of retreat which I love okay so for tarantulas I love these volcano retreats they just look so awesome and at night she will be like right here with her legs out waiting for food I will come back tonight just to see if she is there and if she is there we will try to feed her because usually when she's there when I open the enclosure she will bolt back in so hopefully tonight will be our day and yeah we will try to get her on feeding video let's see if I can locate her nope she 
she is definitely deep in there so yeah we're gonna have to wait for her to come out at night like I mentioned I love this volcano kind of retreat because I mean it just looks awesome I don't really like the burrow ones because they're just like straight into the ground but then just check out my skeleton tarantula over here very very similar like a volcano entrance volcano retreat you gotta love when tarantulas do these you guys because damn and then she is right at the back there check that out way behind there and just like the orotibialis the tire of the golden fringe she will come out but only at night so yeah maybe tonight to make it more fun we will be feeding that one and this one so hopefully both of them will eat on camera and if they do man you guys are in for a treat because when these guys are waiting out their volcano entrance for food they are usually very hungry and just waiting for the best time to ambush so yeah we will come back tonight and we'll check that out hey what's up guys so it is currently 1 a.m let's go see if the tarantulas are out hey what's up all right hopefully the thai golden fringe is out oh yes she is guys she is gonna get the chair all right Look at this, you guys. So she is right there waiting for food. Check that out. Is that not awesome or what? Okay, I don't know if she will run in when I open this. Let's see, I'll open it as softly as possible. Oh man, she went in. Dang it, guys, dang it. Oh well. They are very, very sensitive to vibrations, so there she is in there. I don't know if I can feed her, if she will eat. Let's try. Oh yeah, and by the way, my skeleton tarantula is out as well. You see at night, sorry, it's not focused. There we go. You see at night, everyone's out, so that's awesome. So my darlingy female is out. Who else is out? It's like literally Miss Thailand Black, she's right there. Oh, everyone's out, GBB. Dang, okay, wait. Let me try to get a dubia and see if she will eat. Man, even all the dubias are out. All right, let's get this male dubia. Gonna have to grab it by the leg, something like that. All right, let's see if she'll eat for us, you guys. Oh man, all right, let's see. Oh man, dang it, she went down. Anyways, I'll just, oh, yo, yo guys. Okay, I hope I got that on camera. Oh my goodness, my heart. I thought she went down and I was just gonna say that I'm gonna drop the roach in. <gasps> Okay, my heart is beating so fast. Hello, darlingy. How you doing? Oh my goodness, you guys. That was awesome. Here she comes. Here she comes. Oh my. Yes, come on out, girl. There she is. Gorgeous. Look at that, you guys. Beautiful. I really hope I got that takedown on camera because if I didn't, that'll be so sad. But regardless, I'm going to be uploading this video even if I didn't get it on camera. But man, guys, there she is. Oh, this is awesome. All right, let's see if my skeleton tarantula would eat for us. All right, hopefully she doesn't go in because this one's also sensitive. Oh, sweet. Awesome. All right, let's see if she'll eat. Go get it, Dubia. You want to mate with her? Nah, man, you're, you're coming with me, dude. You're coming with me. All right, guys. Gonna have to hold it by the leg as well. All right, let's see how this goes, you guys. Come on, girl. You know you want this. Oh, yo, you guys, you see what I mean when I said these volcano tunnels, these volcano burrows, they're always out waiting for food and yo, <laughs> that is awesome. There's my Colorado Velocis, my by Colorado. Yo, guys, okay, let's end this video now. This was an awesome, awesome video. One more look at this girl and we'll go make a move. All right, guys, so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really really enjoyed making it if you liked it make sure you thumbs it up if you didn't you're free to thumbs it down and sorry if the phone wasn't really focused it's at night so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video you guys have a good one and yeah peace